Just like your average upstanding bloke, I love wrestling. There's just something special about one or more opponents all facing off with each other in the ring, or looking to display tremendous amounts of athleticism, strategy and a whole host of deadly wrestling manoeuvres. So despite being turned down repeatedly by World Wrestling Entertainment's hiring squad for offering my services to the host of Divas back in the day, I still remain hopeful that one day Vincent Kennedy McMahon will recognise my obvious talents and bring me on board to offer up some of my witty chat up lines and obvious charms. Jimmy Hill Still, developers Ukes have given me the next best thing. That's right, Smackdown 2 Know Your Role builds upon the solid foundation that its predecessor left behind. Featuring much more match types, wrestlers, hidden secrets, storylines, birds and creator bloke that are all packed in tighter than a supermodel's trouser leg. But is this just a shameless cash grab designed to get unsuspecting punters to part with their beer money? Well, for starters, Smackdown 2 is friggin' huge. Despite having more front than my Uncle Barry at a Weight Watchers reunion down my local community centre, Smackdown 2 boasts several ways for you to release all your pent up aggression on a plethora of birds or blokes with an enhanced season mode which puts you in control of the company's elite. You can take on the likes of Stone Cold Steve Austin, Triple H and this bloke here through a lengthy set of storylines in order to duff people up, impress the ladies and win championship belts. This time things are looking a lot more involving as you can not only play your matches and storylines but you can see what others are up to too. As you make progress you then get to interfere in certain matches in order to climb your way to the top of the company. The structure is much more detailed than a Coronation Street special and does require a ton of patience and perseverance which is something I sadly lack. So after my recent trip down the dole queue I found that sneaky bloke Solid Snake who had just lost his catering contract with Asda and invited him back to my gaff for a few pints in the vain hope he will help me dominate the WWE roster. The results were somewhat mixed, despite having the odd cheeky match here and there, Snake wasn't even on the match cards for several months and this was despite me making sure to place him right in the light heavyweight division for a crack at the title. Now in the time it finally took me to get a match I was able to order a Domino's, talk to exciting people in my area, go on an extended blokey pub crawl and tie up the Samaritan switchboard wittering on about my sad and pathetic life. Still I really admire the depths that you can go to here and it features storylines from the 2000s which were accurately recreated. It's absolutely brilliant. Smackdown 2 even has this FIFA level of detail about it letting you go as far as you want to go. I mean there's hours upon hours of fun and unlockables to be had here but you kind of have to have a David Attenborough level of patience as season mode can be quite a slow burn especially when you're just starting out. So what else is new? Well. Ukes have trotted down to the local B&Q stores, purchased some serious hardware and now you too can partake in ladder matches where the object is to get some blokes and birds in the ring to climb a ladder or you can enable table matches or why not just put them all together in a tables, ladders and chair match where up to four can participate and the winner gets a whole host of nectar points. Or if you're feeling hard, why not put your blokey reputation on the line in the new Hell in a Cell mode which is a lot of fun. Honestly, there's just so many ways to play Know Your Role, it's a fantastic multiplayer experience and it's more engaging than a sociology lecture. Having said that, if you're Billy No Mates then the exhibition modes are incredibly addictive. I had some cracking bouts with the Divas and even set up a King of the Ring style tournament as tall blonde bloke Billy Gunn but got eliminated by this bloke here, Test. So just like Roy Walker's catchphrase, the action is fast and furious and is a lot more arcadey than previous WWF WWE games. Now speed is key here, as I got knocked and beaten down faster than a milk float on the M6. No matter how much offence I was able to dole out, I did find that my opponents were a little bit like that masked bloke Michael Myers and would just get right back up again. So you really can't take your time here. All you can do is hammer your opponent into the ground get them into position and provided you have filled up the smackdown meter you can then perform a finishing move which will help tip the scales in your favour. Graphically Know Your Role looks leagues ahead of many PlayStation 1 games and although it still uses the engine from the first game this has been enhanced to not only make the combatants look smoother than Red Dwarf's Cat but to also iron out the textures and bump up the overall visual presentation. The controls do remain the same and even a hardened veteran of many late night thumb war matches can still have a series of cracking bouts. Once again if you feel that the current wrestling pay per views are pap, 
Then you can pop into the creator mode and give wrestling organisations everywhere a run for their money. You can customise your matches, choose your wrestlers and build a wrestling card to compete with the BBC 2's laughable licence fee, which also includes Gardner's World. Create a good enough pay per view and you will even get a high audience rating which was a level of detail I never expected to see. Top work, pay per view bloke. So just like a cheesy tabloid reporter trying to extract secrets from Jimmy's celebrity, Smackdown 2 allows you to earn and unlock hidden wrestlers, movesets, titantron videos and other such hidden paths the more you play. Again, despite Vince McMahon ostracising me from shows and paying less attention to the light heavyweight division, I was still able to earn rewards without doing any actual work. Top work, boss bloke. You can even swap your superstar to another title if you prefer and it's this level of flexibility that takes away some of the monotony of slogging through a set of storylines which may be hindering your bloke or bird. Still, I did take solace in the fact that I was also able to find Snake's ninja bloke mate Frankie Yeager doing a spot of moonlighting as the Spider-Man dancer at the Crazy Daisy in Sheffield, despite looking a wee bit bloated and telling me he lost out on a 10k investment from the Dragons for his new alcoholic beverage Jaeger bomb, he agreed to join the roster. So is there anything that is a bit duff about Smackdown 2? Well, sometimes as good as season mode is, it does get very confusing. Often storylines will occur and just like your average episode of EastEnders, it's hard to tell what's going on most of the time. I'm not knocking the mode at all but it does seem to be totally random as to what is occurring and often these storylines are occurring so fast that small incidents that should be full on feuds are forgotten. So again you really have to take your time and invest a whole lot of weeks and months here. I will say that it is time well spent though. Overall, I had an absolute blast with Know Your Role, it's a wrestling bloke's dream, plays extremely well and it's just a game you want to play inside with a few points and a kebab. The range of customization and options are just insane and although the roster is after 20 years a little bit outdated, it does represent a time when WWE was in its golden period. So if you're after a bloke bashing quality grappler on your PlayStation 1, then Smackdown 2 is right up your street and literally blows the competition out of the water with visuals and game modes that are way better than any I've encountered in previous titles. So I'm off now to persuade my job centre plus advisor to pay me so I can sink a few more points and talk complete pap. I'll see you next week where I discuss the theory of life and also why oh why is Kim Bassinger not my wife. I'll see you soon.